All right, no, no. timer start. Welcome no. back. This is David and Tom, and we're playing Final Frantisan. <laughs> San. Frantisan. Tan. <laughs> so, again, we're doing the short episodes, just so you guys know. These are going to be about 10 to 13 minutes at the longest. Deal with it. Yeah. And it's because we have lives. Yeah. And actually, we're, yeah, tomorrow, actually a few hours from now, Yeah. Oh yeah. Tommy Boy. Five hours. Tommy Two Shoes Bahama over here. That's my. That's your new name. I've got two of them. <laughs> Is going to Singapore for a week. So trying to get a recording session out of the way last minute. Yeah, for for vacation. Vacation. Whole, get a whole week break from. Uh, isn't it? It's a break a, from the vacation we're currently on. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> it is just feels a lot like work. Oh, I already know how to. I know how to play Blitzball. We're gonna play Blitzball. Oh damn. Damn son. Damn. Oh, I might actually have to play atten out. pay attention. So, what are you going for to Singapore for vacation and? Oh yeah, Iska Singapore, the international convention caricature. <laughs> The, it's a caricature. We're caricature artists. Oh yeah, just to yeah, catch right. you guys up. Yeah. Um, there's conventions every once in a, once in a while in like different locations. There, and one happens to be in Singapore. Yeah, I guess they do like a Europe one, an Asian one, and an America one where God still cares. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and then so our boss asked if I wanted to do the uh, the Singapore one. Like, cause some yeah, of the people okay. here, we're we're working Korea right now. Yeah. So we're we're like pretty close to Singapore. Well, like we're like five hours away. So. And I hadn't been to another country yet. I mean, before I came to Korea, so I was like, damn, yeah, I need to get I need to get a third one on the list like right away. So I said yes. <laughs> Look at those boobs. <laughs> Sorry. No, I was, I was, cool I was looking at him too. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's awesome, Tom. What are you, Lulu's boobs? Oh, fuck. That's just a, that's a scene stealer right there. Like you can't pay attention to anything else in the scene. After like the that. um, like Crotch Girl. Like they just kept putting her. On, like the subtitles are down there, but we're all looking up. That's there. probably why Lulu is not in this game a lot. Like she's too distracting. <laughs> but anyway, so no caricature. Yeah. <laughs> so what were we just talking? About? Oh yeah, caricature yeah, convention. Oh, I'm supposed to be running. And you know, you've never done one of those before, right? Guy. No, because I've never. <laughs> <laughs> no. I guess I've I've been doing caricatures for like a long ass time now, but I've never, I've never felt like a caricature artist. It's just been more yeah. of like a job thing. I don't know. I'll go to it's one important. someday. They're cool, man. That like, if you ever like, you you can go back to losing faith in caricature right away. If you ever <laughs> like, like the moment you leave, you know, there you're like so inspired, and you just saw these people do these amazing paintings like right in front of you. I'm, I'm like, damn, they're awesome. And then like you go back to work in your regular life, and by the end of the week you're like, oh, fuck it. I guess it would be pretty fun. I mean, I'm pretty competitive, and it's like a it's a competition, right? Oh, true, yeah. So I mean, oh, uh, dude, I don't know if you could like. Oh man, the Japanese oh, people for especially. Sure. Like, I'm sure I wouldn't like compare to any of them, but still. <laughs> but still, the, they do. The sneaky Japanese. <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah, what they do. But it's cool. It like pushes you sucks, right? like to push yourself so more, you know? So it's like day, even, like I don't do anything comparable to anything, anyone else. But I'm like comparable to what I do most of the time. Uh, this is like way better, you know? Yeah, plus you're doing a lot of it at a time it's like it's True. how long is it like four days or something yeah yeah i think of actually, like uh, relentless anyway. caricature drawing yeah. action like, oh, like just a like a huge oh, lobby that's open like 24 game, hours a day for like those four days people are just like sleeping in and doing like drawings of each other and i don't know yeah don't some, some people like pull all-nighters like every night oh right? yeah something oh like my god that. like the japanese intense. do those Sneaky Japan. No, <laughs> I love the Japanese. Thanks. They made this game. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, clearly we we have respect for them. And they're not. I guess they're not super sneaky because they're like there the whole time. So like if they were sneaking away and coming back with this awesome art, like the Mongolians, <laughs> or the damn Chinese. I think if we're gonna take on a race, we need to like take on one with not a with that you know that doesn't have our numbers. Oh yeah, it's true. So Eskimos? 
<laughs> That's right. Who don't know where they can find us. Like, they know... Everyone watching this knows we're in Korea somewhere. Yeah. It's, it's a small country. Yeah. It's, it's still hard, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It would be even possible to find this, actually. Yeah. What were you going to say? No, like, I, I had to go to the art store today, and I forget, Like, I've been there, like, four times already. <laughs> I forgot again. Like, not the, not the Hanga University really one. Like the, uh, oh, the, the one by Trick Eye? Yeah. Which is just in this, like, bazaar. And it was, like, kind of nighttime, too, so it was, like, just packed with oh. people. It feels like, uh, what was that town in Star Wars? Oh. With the cantina and all those, like, Tatooine. Aliens. Or, yeah. uh, well, the name of the town, though? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, the planet was Tatooine? Though? Yeah, the planet's Tatooine. The town is... Where's Skywalker from there? Then. Oh, he's it's from, like, those moisture farms out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Because it's a planet with two goddamn suns, and there's no water. <laughs> they farm, like, water out of the sand. <laughs> First of all, they'd be dead. There's two suns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doesn't matter how many robot wheelchairs you have. And then doesn't their hut light on fire? <laughs> or like we find out in the in the prequel movies. Wait, what? Sorry, what? I was listening to. <laughs> oh yeah, like in the, in the like the prequel movie where they give baby Luke to. Uh, oh yeah, like to someone that he, like family or something. Didn't know they existed. Yeah. And they were like, okay, yeah, we'll take in this baby. <laughs> one of them will be a princess, and one will be on the shittiest planet together. ever. <laughs> So you can do it. Dan Tuane. That's where, uh... Dan Tuane. That's where, uh, what's-her-face went? Leia went to Dan Tuane. Dan Tuane. I don't know what's oh, happening really right cool. now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, without Lulu, like, honing in our focus, like, it's just... Yeah. These two, I mean, these ten-minute episodes go by so fast, yeah. it's like, I don't even know <laughs> if we'll get much done well, per episode. Yeah, no, so. we're, I am enjoying this. Yeah, it's it's good for us, so back was, off. You know, yeah, like yeah, hey guys, yeah, yeah, back it. off. <laughs> I mean, actually, I think they might <laughs> like ten minutes better. Than th well, I don't know, I guess That's they're true. trying to fall asleep. Then. <laughs> and honestly, I actually feel like I have to get more done. I mean, we haven't really gotten much done in these past two episodes, but yeah. I feel like I have to get more done and kind of we'll focus a bit more. This still would have been an entire episode of, like, cutscenes, you know, because yeah. it's been two episodes, one episode. Th is that, like, two turns? Do you think you'd ever do, like, a studio character? Like, a super rendered kind of... I really want to. Sebastian Kruger-ish, like... Yeah, I, I really want... Actually, that's why I bought this paper that this laptop is on top of. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah there, this stuff's there's awesome. paper under it. Um, Korean yeah, I'll try. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm like, a master painter. Yeah. And a master chef. <laughs> if you combine this... The master debater. <laughs> uh, <laughs> master debated. No, I'm Highly not a master underrated. chef at all. I can't <laughs> cook. I can cook some eggs sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I we can put those eggs in ramen that uh yeah we microwave. But yeah, I gotta get my uh, caricature skills back in check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like uh, <laughs> I was trying today to like exaggerate a little more at work, and I just can't at all. Oh, yeah. I'm so used to doing like structure structural drawings of like heads yeah. I'm, I'm good with structure that's that's like priority for me when i draw anything but it's like oh, totally when i go into caricature mode i'm like what what do i do now <laughs> like i don't yeah. know <laughs> Where are this my is rules? not the right structure <laughs> it's really hard especially when you're trying to do a whole illustration in a scene and then i like because like you need to have your perspective down and like your anatomy and st otherwise it doesn't make sense like you can kind of bend the rules a little bit and exaggerate Orange's stuff, but if you get it wrong, mm. like it's unstructural, then it Let's just looks dumb. Like you didn't know what you were doing. So, yeah. And then like in caricatures, if it's too structured, then it's just kind of boring. And then it's I don't know. What's happening? That's I don't. What's going on? I'm pretty jealous of people like uh, I guess Chris Chua. Shout out to Chris. Oh, yeah. Actually, anyone that can do caricatures is better than me. We were me. looking at <laughs> Andy Urza today too. Oh it's yeah. I don't know how you say his name. Ur it's like Urzua. Urzua. Man, that guy went kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's cool. He's a cool guy. That I don't. I don't know him like personally. Just his art. Yeah. I hate all the California boys really. Like, yeah, they're all like oh, amazing. <laughs> but yeah, but they just like push. It. They just I don't know. They seem like they're not struggling with that. Like, well, no one's gonna be structured. I don't know. But it's still, they still have like signs of structure. 
Yeah. I guess because my background I mean, has always been like academic drawing because I yeah. started that shit when I was 12. <laughs> and then caricatures was just kind of like, uh, oh, here's a job where I can draw at. And uh, yeah. they it's might like, be good, they might be bad, or whatever. I can still draw. <laughs> that is, and I think the best pe like exaggerators, the best master debaters, <laughs> they do, like, they're not, they're not doing it because they don't know the rules. It's just because, like, they... I don't know, like, they're, they're just going this, Yeah, for they it. think this is more interesting, or that's what they want to do, and it makes it better. What is it? I think it's like you have to know the rules to break them. Yeah. Is something someone said. If not, I said it. To and Tom. that's a good saying. T from Tom, Tommy Two Shoes Bahama, <laughs> Tom, you have to Tommy know, sunglasses and two shoes. You have to know the rules to break them. Um, can I pause this? Yes. Okay, we'll see you guys next time on The David Show. Bye-bye. <laughs>